Hello everyone and welcome to War Thunder with Johnny Thunder. Um, I bit the bullet and decided to buy my way into the tank package. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, what the tank server looks like in this video. They had a new package that came out uh, on March 21st to uh, give players who wanted it uh, access to the closed beta for $20. And it also came with two premium tanks, uh, 2,000 golden eagles, and 15 days of premium time. So I decided, hey, you know what, that's worth it. And so here I am. This is the first time I've ever taken out uh, anything on historic, or I mean in ground forces before. So, uh, I'm checking, uh, right now what's going on is uh, I use full aircraft controls. I'm still kind of messing around with the controls. Uh, the controls are a little bit uh, different. It seems to me that at least right now the way that it's currently implemented in the server uh, or in the closed uh, beta is that uh, if you want full aircraft controls you get full tank controls and if you want simplified aircraft controls you get simplified tank controls. And right now there does not appear to be a way to simplify your tank controls and have full aircraft controls or have full uh, have full tank controls and have simplified aircraft controls at least as far as I could tell so I have to actually change gears manually and stuff like this so you'll notice that I'm kind of a little bit bad at reversing and things um, when I get another chance in the, t the server I'm probably gonna mess around with the controls some more and see if I can optimize it uh, there are a little bit of nuisances. So, first airplane I see, I'm like, I'm gonna take this guy out and see if I can shoot him. Of course I miss. It's to be expected. But it is pretty cool that you can shoot airplanes and that they're there. I had been playing a lot of World of Tanks recently. That was another thing that promoted me, prompted me to buy my way into the closed beta was I realized I was playing World of Tanks, and World of Tanks is, uh, it's not War Thunder. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I was very impressed with, uh, with, with War Thunder. It's kind of funny, because this is the first time they've ever had this map. And this map really shows how War Thunder's, uh, tank gameplay shines. Hey, look at that. I got a kill. First kill. So I'm still trying to figure out the uh, gear system. I don't quite understand it at this point. That's why I'm only going seven. I realize, oh hey, I can go up and do a higher gear. But I don't quite understand where the shift points are yet. I'm thinking of uh, next time I jump into tank server. Tank server is going to be up in a little bit for me. This uh, footage was taken on March 21st, or 22nd, sorry, at uh, 4 in the morning. That's when the trick server was up in, in California. And I uh, set my alarm to get up at 4 and then play until 9. It's down. Um, then I converted this footage and. Uh, took, uh, and then now, later in the day, I'm, uh, giving a commentary, and the tank server's gonna be up a little bit, so I'm gonna jump back on it and see if I can, uh, optimize my controls. It's very pretty. Um, I play at maximum settings, and obviously I'm getting 50 frames with traps. Of course, I do have an API Radeon 7950, whatever the top of the line Radeon card is right now, pretty much. 
so I should get pretty good frames. I use FRAP, so low overhead, so high overhead on the hard drive, which means that I can record stuff. Well, at least in particular, I can only record the first two battles since I didn't want to spend, you know, a huge amount of time with the test server up to, uh, to, to, uh, gosh, what am I saying? Or I didn't want to convert video while the test server was up. I waited until afterwards. So I can only record the first two battles. So I'm shooting this guy. This is a historical battle, it's true. Or, well, you might not be able to tell, and that's why there's no uh, indicator of where to shoot. Well, I got him. So, as you can see, with this map, you can engage in extremely long ranges. What's really interesting is this shows what ships is probably going to be like a lot. Oh, I'm dead. Where you'll have these bullet drops, but ships are going to engage in even further ranges. Battleships can shoot anything they can see on the horizon, so that's going to be really interesting. <laughs> Although generally you don't want to shoot at something on the horizon in a battleship because you waste all your ammo on it. So, uh, something went wrong with the controls and here I am messing around with it trying to to configure everything correctly. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a little bit hard for me to see right now because uh, I'm watching this in the preview window of Adobe Premiere. And so the resolution's a lot lower. So I was messing around with the control settings. The control settings were not set so I set them to default and then jump back in between that and my default settings. Uh, one thing I do notice is that uh, the control settings... I don't know, this is still beta, so it might change. Um, but the control settings uh, for full aircraft controls... It seems to me that, uh, you know, there's overlap of controls between aircraft controls and uh, tank controls. And I don't think that's really a good thing. It should really be like separate, you know, whenever you're in a tank, all your airplane controls should be ignored. And when you're in the plane, all your airplane controls should be ignored. So that way you can have different um, control settings. For example, I use, I set it up so that Alt is my uh, mouse activation button. And I also use ALT for a bunch of uh, modifiers while flying a plane, so if I'm flying the plane now and I use one of those modifiers, um, the, uh, I might accidentally activate mouse activation. It's not really a big deal because I don't use the mouse when I'm flying a plane, I use a joystick. But, uh, it should be separated controls, I do think. Or more separate. So this guy's got bombers. Now we get to see. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Man, I've seen so many games of uh, of Battlefield Two that were like that. Man, it's ridiculous. Oh. So. Now we're going to take out another tank. So, yeah. Still, the battle has uh, quite a bit longer to uh, go. I really like the sounds. I'm really impressed with uh, this game, even though it has a bunch of bugs, obviously, because it's closed beta and it's not polished. And, um, you know, uh, 
I'm not or well, I'm gonna report bugs if I find them. I'm only gonna report bugs if I can like readily re uh, reproduce them. I was more interested in getting in there, you know. Uh, I talked on the forums of War Thunder, and I did do think they listened to some of my posts in the past. I suggested uh, submarines be added, and that the water uh, in the game was not transparent enough for submarines currently. And I noticed that after I posted that, like a week or month two, or two months later, they added uh, transparent water. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. But all the bug reports I've submitted to Gaijin, uh, they never really got any traction. Uh, one big bug, for example, it's not in Ground Forces, but it's in the regular game, so I can talk about it, is uh, F1. F1 brings up a help menu, and it's you can't unbind it. So if you are used to you know, other flight sims like FSX or uh, IL-2-1946, where F1 is used for your uh, first-person view. Uh, War Thunder doesn't allow you to rebind that, so every time you hit F1, you're gonna get a, a pop-up help menu. And it's kind of a very ironic thing, because it's supposed to be a menu there to help you, and it does the exact opposite. Har 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 har. So yeah, I'm just cruising along here in this little tank. It's a reserve tank. I gotta say, this is a lot of fun, this, uh, this ground forces. Um, compared to World of Tanks, it's like night and day. Uh, this is very realistic, it feels very realistic. It feels like you were a lot more like you were actually there. In, in the battles that uh, you're actually in World War II to some regard. Not completely, obviously. It's obviously a game, but uh, a World of Tanks always felt more like a sporting event or some weird parallel universe where there was everything was designed for tanks and um, there's tank championships and Everyone who's alive is tanks, whereas War Thunder feels like mm, no, a simulation of World War II. And this map really shows that off of these extremely long-range engagements. You really have to aim a lot higher. And uh, there's bullet drop. There's no bullet drop, as far as I can tell, in World of Tanks. Just like there's no bullet drop in Counter-Strike Source. And, you know, I like Counter-Strike Stars, and I like World of Tanks, but, uh... I prefer the Battlefield games over Counter-Strike, and I prefer War, War Thunder over World of Tanks. For pretty much the same reasons. And, of course, I prefer War Thunder over the Battlefield games now. Because this is... this... Uh, War Thunder is really looking like it's getting to... Uh, it's gonna become the... Uh, sort of replacement game for Battlefield that I've uh, always wanted. You know, I was always disappointed in the Battlefield games for uh, their very arcadey style gameplay. And um, I always wanted uh, to play a game where, you know, it was World War II or something, and you could drive all the tanks, and you could uh, drive all the cars and you could uh, be a soldier and you could drive the ships and you could drive the submarines and you could fly the airplanes and all the airplanes would have realistic flight models and they'd behave like the real things and the tanks would etc 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 and of course this game never existed but now with War Thunder it looks like this game has actually existed so really in a lot of ways War Thunder is a game that uh, I've wanted to play since I was like eight years old you know or maybe even six that uh, they really just didn't have the technology available until recently. I mean, the graphics, uh, like, you know, World of Tanks just came out with this new uh, graphics engine. And uh, I was looking at uh, some of, like, uh, Jingles' posts, and 
You know, I gotta say, I was not very impressed with the 9.0 update so far in World of Tanks. Because all it did, it looks like, is it added historical battles mostly, and then it added these HD tank models. And it only added three HD tank models. Uh, and the historical battle mode looks like something uh, that no one's gonna play. Uh, similar to, uh, <laughs> well, there's problems in War Thunder, and one of those problems is uh, the events mode, I think. Uh, they added the events mode, and I never play events. And uh, War Thunder's, or World of Tanks' historical mode feels a lot similar to War Thunder's events, in that it's maybe a mode that shouldn't have been added so soon. Uh, we'll see, I suppose. I'm not going to necessarily stop playing World of Tanks, although I don't upload anything to YouTube uh, with World of Tanks. I might in the future, I'm not sure about that. Um, but uh, yeah, this game is much, much improved for me personally. I'm, I'm a realism head, I really like the realism. World of Tanks, after playing this just once, World of Tanks feels uh, obsolete, at least for me. Maybe that'll change. It's clear that World of Tanks is becoming a better game thanks to this game. Because um, I sure as hell can tell you, World of, uh, <laughs> World of Warplanes is not making War Thunder a better game. Uh, and that's really kind of a sad thing for the World of Warplanes isn't making War Thunder a better game because there are a lot of th issues with War Thunder, especially in the aviation front, that could be dealt with. But the developers don't need to and don't want to, so it, they're not getting dealt with. And instead, they're dealing with tanks. Which I kind of imagine tanks are going to get a lot dealt with and be very fluid and unplayable because of World of Tanks, which is a very decent tank game and definitely does force War Thunder to have to uh, play to its strengths. <laughs> Just like a, a BF-109 is not a turn fighter. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, so that's that's that. Um. So yeah. So we can check out how uh, well I did. And uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see you later, I suppose, when we after that. Um. So not too. Great, not too terrible. I think I got what two kills or something and died once. So obviously, I uh, ra rank one or reserve rank one. Um, stuff and so I'm unlocking. It's a lot to unlock because it was my first game. You know how that is, and also I have premium time since I bought the uh, the tank pack. Of course, I really should use my premium time not on the the, the test server because uh, nothing I do in this, everything's gonna go wiped in this these servers. Yes, I want to buy all of those. Okay, so uh, that's that.